What's up, everybody? Welcome to America Patriot News. And today we have a video for you guys and ask Kerry Lake was Senator for Barrasso out of Wyoming. And he's they're doing an interview with this reporter. And this reporter decides to ask sen the senator a question about Kerry Lake. And if she if he is like concerned that she might record him without him knowing. All right, let's check it out. That's interesting. Let me ask uh, Mr. Senator Barrasso this question too. This question was asked at the press conference. Didn't seem like it was a very popular question, but I did want to ask this. Um, working in the Senate, uh, you know, uh, Carrie Lake, there's a lot of attention given to a recording she had taken of Jeff DeWitt, the former uh, campaign party chair. Um, can you trust that, you know, she can be trusted in backroom conversations, candid conversations, that she won't be recording people or anything like that? Because this the Senate. Dennis, is this is ridiculous. The people of this country don't care about this. You well, would have the, the you Senate, would, you've been you would have recorded a, a conversation if someone showed up at your door and said, "I got to tell you something. You can't. I can't tell it on the phone." I was nervous about it. I thought there would be a threat in it, and I have every right. I didn't break any laws. Yeah. I have every right. And you're spending time sitting with the sitting senator. I'm asking the sitting senator about, about whether she can be trusted. In this. I have great confidence in Carrie Lake as a senator of the United States. We'd love to have her from rep uh, representing the people of Arizona as a forceful, effective conservative voice for the country. We need her in the United States Senate. I think she'd be a great addition to the Senate and make a big difference for our country moving forward, getting back on track. Goodness. And and the, and the only people I record, frankly, are people mm -hmm. that come to my door and try to bribe me. If you come into my home and try to bribe me, there's a chance I might record you. Mm -hmm. And guess who else I record? Every interaction I have with the fake news media. Sure. Because as you know, I'm the aware. first interaction we I had, how dishonest the fake news media is. Nobody trusts them. And so I record that. And I think not only should every politician record every interaction they have with the media, I think every American should record every interaction they have with the media because you've proven time and time again that you can't be trusted. I think Carrie Lake makes a really good point, especially about the fake news. And, and by fake news, I define that as any mainstream media, ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, uh, Washington Post, all of them, they have a narrative they're pushing. And the truth is always, it's not, doesn't, the truth doesn't even make the list for the mainstream media. They just want to push the narrative. Well, you could tell by the question what the narrative was, and that's to divide her from the rest of the Senate, especially the senator that's there now. He was trying to get him to actually maybe reprimand her or go after her for uh, doing what she did. And she goes out there and says she doesn't regret anything she did. She'll do it again. She doubles down. Then she goes after the mainstream media. And that's the type of people we want in office. We don't want people that's going to actually bow down to the media and to their infinite wisdom to try to placate the Democrat Party and also try to uh, brainwash your ass to believe what they believe. I totally agree. Be trusted. That me personally can't be trusted? That the news can't be trusted, yeah. Okay, well, I, I do want to ask, I know you don't want to go back, but there are questions. Um, oh, boy, Dennis, really? We have a wide open border. Where are we going back now? What, what year are we going back to now, Dennis? <laughs> Let's go back to the 70s. Elections. You can put your bell bottoms on. <laughs> too young to have bell bottoms in the 70s. Let's go back to the election stuff. I mean, there was an opinion, oh, Dennis, opinion Dennis. piece. There was an opinion piece today by the guy who was supposedly hired by Donald Trump to find election fraud. He wrote an opinion piece in the Republic, Dennis, said he didn't find it. Dennis, I'm not you, you, you have criticized me over and over again. I'm not criticizing. I'm you're going back, you're concentrating on past elections. I'm not elections. criticizing. I'm, I'm looking questions. to future elections, okay? Sure, but, but, I'm not but, going to entertain any more but, questions about the past election. But the election and stuff, election fraud but the election because the headlines is, is a lot is, is a lot about who you are and about your brand as a politician. It's not a brand. I want to have honest elections that people have faith in. And, get, sure. and guess what, Dennis? The polling shows that Republicans don't have faith in our elections, neither do independents, and an increasing number, it's getting close to half of Democrats, think we need election reform. And I'll end it with that. Good for her. Yeah, absolutely, because she's she's right on point. Almost half of Democrats think we need election reform. Uh, 
a huge majority of Republicans and like 60% of independents. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty much a well-known fact that the 22 and 20 elections were disasters in this country. And, and, and you know how you know that? When historically, in our lifetimes, so we're both either 50 or close to 50, we, we've seen election results come back election eve worst case scenario the day after and then all of a sudden 2020 when mail-in balloting and absentee balloting all the bullshit was allowed all of a sudden we had seven states who couldn't get their act together that's that's the sign for everyone to look for that your election in your state isn't legitimate they don't have totals election night the next morning afternoon you know it's fraud well i like her answer to his question and what he was saying uh because we need to look to the next election we can't do anything about past elections the mm-hmm. lawsuits are over everything is over on that it's time to look and look forward to the next election and make sure stuff like this doesn't happen. Perfect example is what happened during the uh, primary. Uh, they've been sending out ballots for the primary, and now they have had to, to reject those ballots because they're printed on the wrong size paper, about 4,000 of them. So they're going to be resending new ballots out. So there's going to be ballots out there that, that are supposedly not be, uh, be able to be used, but they're going to be out there circulating. So you got that situation happening in Arizona now. And obviously no one's going to be talking about it. The reason I'm bringing it up, it's part of this this conversation when it comes to this interview with Carrie Lake, because he brings up the the elections. And it's another way of him trying to divide her from the senator that's there right there who doesn't believe anything uh, nefarious happened during 2020 or 2022 election. Do I think he's wrong? Yes. But does he have a right to believe that? Yes, he has a right to be wrong as well. Yeah, this reporter is a bomb thrower, Matt. This reporter is a bomb thrower. Look at him. Well, guys, to stay in the video, we really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on just so you know when we make new content. We'll be live tomorrow morning at 9.30 Central Standard. Have a wonderful rest of your day.